As you can see here on my screen, I opened the Bolter DIY desktop app here on my Windows system. Everything is working like uh, any other Windows application. You can see the desktop icon here behind. You can also check here in your start menu and got a normal working application. Let's reopen it again so you can see everything working as we know it from other apps. So how do you get it? At the moment, let's go here to bolt.diy, to the main GitHub repository. And then here on the left side, go to releases. And we now got here an Electron release. It's a pre-release, so it's just for testing. But with the next releases, we will provide the desktop apps with the normal release, which will be 0 0.1.0. Um, at the moment, this is based on the current main branch. Okay, here you can download then your dedicated file. So for my case, it's Windows. So I download the Windows setup exe. And as soon as it is downloaded, you can just install it like any other program. Just go through the install steps. Yes, I have it already open, so we close it. And then you can use it. Your API keys are stored on your desktop, so in the local cache. So you have to set them via UI one time, and then they are there when you reopen again. As I said, at the moment, there is no Mac image or binary file, so you can't install it directly on your Mac system. Um, because we miss a developer account, they are personalized and we cannot sign the yeah, the image file at the moment. So we are in contact with Stackblitz if they can provide it so we can build it with the GitHub actions as the others. But at the moment you need to do, need to build it on your own if you want to use it. But I can show you quickly a video because I don't have a Mac myself. But Kev was so nice to provide an install video how he does it on his system. By the way, Kev is one of the core developers of Bolt.diy. Let's play this. And as you can see, let me go a little bit here. It just do, uh, just does uh, PNPM run Electron build Mac. And then we can go a little bit forward. It's now building the stuff. And as you can see here, it now built the DMG file, which you then can execute on your Mac. You already installed it, so there was a replace. Now you can use it the same as we saw it on Windows. Let's go quickly back into the Bolta DIY GitHub repository because I want to show you another thing. There is also this merge request which uh, upgrades the web container so we now got uh, some performance boosts and also got node version 20 instead of 18 i can quickly show you this in my bolt.diy and as you can see it's now version 20. if you find any bugs please report them here in the issues section open a new one and describe what's the problem so we can fix it hopefully before it goes to the stable branch okay that was it for today's quick video i hope you like it let me know what you think about the electron release if you use that more than the deployed options on cloudware or locally and i hope to see you in the next one bye